Alrighty, it is the first day of spring, and it feels like it's mid-fucking summer. What the fuck is going on? I now believe in global warming. It's like 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know, that's like 400 degrees American or whatever. It's fucking hot, motherfuckers. Very fucking hot. It's hard to deny global warming when it's hot like that. Moving on, it's time for my first raw review on Ross and Jesus. The <sighs> All right. So it starts off with a Jericho and Punk promo. Punk was complaining that Jericho called his father an alcoholic. I couldn't help but think that Punk's promo power was going down. Way down. Then Jericho appears on the Titan Tron and he said that Punk's sister was a drug addict. This was like the reverse of when Punk used to call everybody drug addicts, etc. I loved it. Punk said a bunch of swear words to try to impress people. He now has to say a bunch of swearing just to get a little reaction. Promo power down. Uh, yeah. Then Kane defeated the Big Show in like a minute because of Cody Rhodes or whatever. Big Show versus Cody Rhodes at Mania, for me at least, two thumbs down. I mean, Big Show versus Rhodes. Who the fuck cares? That might be the least cared about Mania match of all time. The match would last two seconds. One, pfft, that would be it, okay? Then Otunga defeated Santino in 30 seconds in the throwaway semi-jobber match. The Rock cuts a promo. He's next to the statue of Rocky, saying he's going to shove sandwiches up John Cena's ass, etc. It was okay. It wasn't his best promo. A little bit funny, but not as good, because... He purposely has to be boring now to try to make Cena look good, which is dumb, WWE, that is dumb, all right? Daniel Bryan defeated Zack Ryder in like 15 seconds, which was good, all right? Fuck Ryder. Um, and then Cena defeated Mark Henry. Match was decent. You see what they did? Every match was like 10 seconds except for Cena's match, which had an okay looking finish, thus making it look like the best match on the card, even though Cena can't wrestle. For example, he tried to do a side back suplex type of shit, couldn't even lift him. <laughs> um, but yeah, best match of the night because they do it by purpose to look like that. Sheamus defeated The Miz. Swagger and Ziggler of Team Johnny <laughs> defeated R-Truth and Kingston. And I fully support Team Johnny. Anybody who wants uh, Teddy, <laughs> Teddy, or I'm fucking forgetting his name there. The guy from SmackDown there, play a play a, can't fucking think of his name for some reason. If you want him to be on Raw and SmackDown, he's just gonna go like this. That won't compare to Laurinaitis with all his crazy antics, alright? So I'm Team Johnny all the way, and I want him to be in charge of both Raw and SmackDown. Teddy Long, goddammit, that's his fucking name. Then it finished with a Michaels, Taker, and Triple H promo. Uh, I'm the game. I've been in 19. We've both been in 19 cage matches. I'm the game. Then Taker responds, mm, Are you ready to walk the line? The line of cocaine. Then mm. Shawn Michaels, Oh, they're freaking Shawn Michaels. <laughs> John Michaels doesn't go like that, but whatever. So an okay promo to finish it there. But the most 
biggest part of the show there, the most fucking craziest thing that happened. People, Maria Menunez is going to be in a tag team match at Mania. Yeah. Maria Menunez, guys. Who the fuck is Maria Menunez and why should I fucking care that she's going at Mania? Last year you had Snooki in the throwaway match. Okay, it's Snooki. Now you got some schmuck ass bitch called Maria Menounes. Who the fuck cares? Nobody! Uh, nobody! Alright, until next time. Peace.